what is class loading what is class initialization is there any difference between these two terms in the last video of the session 6 of java and web i will answer this question namaste everyone i am gyan and you are watching the session 6 of java and web constructors what is class loading while class loading the jvm loads the byte code in the method area and while class loading the jvm assign memory for the static variables in the method area and initialize it with the corresponding default values what the default values are possible for the various static variables are given in the previous video the link of that video is given in the video description below and while class initialization the jvm runs the static blocks and then identifies static data members and initialize it if there is an initialization by the programmers while class initialization the jvm also identify the static methods so the class loading and class initialization are two different processes and the static blocks run only after the class initialization normally we have seen that the class loading and class initialization occurs together whenever we pass the class name to the jvm then the corresponding class will be loaded and initialized if there is a main method in that class whenever we create an object of a class the class gets loaded and the class gets initialized whenever we try to call a static member of a class just by using the class name without creating the object of that class then also the class loading and class initialization happens together so we know that a class can be loaded and initialized together if we create an object access or update a static member but is there any way where we can practically differentiate between the class loading and class initialization the answer is accessing a final static member cause only class loading not the class initialization so if we try to access the final static member just by using the class name then it will cause only class loading not the class initialization that's how if we try to access the final static members just by using the class name these three processes will not occur that means the static blocks will not execute the static data members will not be initialized by the programmer provided values the static methods will not be identified so let us try to access the final static member just by using the class name here the inti is the final static member in the java file class loading.java we have two classes the class example and the class huge the class example contains our static final variable i and in the main method of the class huge we are trying to access the static final variable i just by using the class name without creating any object of class example so in this case the class will be loaded but the class will not be initialized so the static block will not execute and the value 6 in the variable j will not be assigned because this is just a class loading it's not a class initialization since the variable i is a static and final so the variable i is like a constant so at the compile time itself the value 5 will be assigned to the value i because the final variables get assigned by the compiler while compilation that's how the variable i has been assigned to the value 5 at the compile time itself so accessing the static final variable i just by using the class name will cause only class loading not the class initialization and the static block will not execute let me execute this code practically open class loading.java and this is the same code as we seen we are accessing the static final variable i just by using the class name so this static block will not execute and this string will not be printed let me save and compile this code java c class loading.java it compiles fine there run it java use since the class name containing method main is use it runs fine and printing only 5 the static block has not been executed so the statement system.out.println example.i cause class loading but not the class initialization so class initialization does not occurs so a static block does not get executed here in this case we are accessing the static variable j by using the class name the static variable j is not a final variable that's how the accessing the static variable j will cause the class loading and class initialization both and in this case the static block will execute and will print the string example loaded and initialized let me try this code practically open class loading.java and write here example.j instead of example.i now let me save and compile this code java c class loading dot java compiles fine then run it java huge since the class name containing method main is huge it runs fine first it prints the static block example loaded and initialized then it prints the value of the variable j 
that's how in this case the statement system dot out dot print ln example dot j cause class loading and class initialization both so the static block also gets executed this is the end of the session 6 of java and web constructors don't forget to like and share this video subscribe this channel if you are new and leave your valuable comments in the comment section below thanks for watching see you in the next session of the java and web managing codes with java 8